everyone. Here we are in the uh, back of a very crowded van. We just picked up a bunch of uh, kids from the uh, baby's home uh, orphanage that Buckner has and crammed them in the van. Check them out. How many kids we have in here anyway? 74. <laughs> I'm fairly sure that this is um, not in compliance with seatbelt laws, but <laughs> so we'll be passing out clothes and gifts at the baby's home here. <laughs> Lisa, Martini, Mar Lisa Martinez, which is um, a state run boys orphanage, and these guys go crazy when we show up. Ah! <laughs> So it really doesn't take long for um, stuff like this to start chewing on your head and your spirit and then um, to start affecting you and asking a bunch of questions and wondering you know, what you can do. We uh, came down and the people of Exchange sponsor a lot of different kids and just write different letters to them and stuff. And we had our kid, was uh, Jose Rafael, and his last time he wrote a letter to me, um, said, why didn't you come see me? And so I was going to surprise him and come down and found that he had uh, run away from the orphanage here about a month ago. So, crazy stuff. I mean, and, you know, we talked about before that, that Jesus is found among the ignored and the overlooked. And he says, when you give a cup of cold water to the least of these, that you do it to me. And so Jesus is just really close. And you can just see it in uh, the eyes of orphans and special needs kids that, um, that the world is just kind of thrown away. And um, we ask a lot of questions like, what can we do and what's the best? And the best we can do right now is just to love on these kids. And our whole deal is that we think that every kid deserves to have one person in their life that just thinks they're, that they're the best thing in the world. I think we all deserve that, right? Just at least one person to, that's crazy about us. And so that's just kind of what we're doing, I guess. But. Man, if you haven't been in an experience like this, you got to get into it because it'll uh, it'll mess you up in a good way.